today's Living Word with Pastor Arlene. Today let's look at Philippians chapter 2. Yesterday we looked at Hebrews chapter 4 and found out that we're to be diligent to enter into, to labor into the finished works of Jesus, to have the finished works of Jesus flow in our life. And we're looking at what we have to do to have this happen. Philippians chapter 2 and in verse 12 it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not in my present only, but now much more my absence. absence. And here's where people really get struggling and stumble. It says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And people look at that and think, okay, what do I have to do to get God to save me? But it's saying, work out your own salvation. You're already saved, but as we saw with 3 John 2, I would that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. So we're to work it out, work out, not work in to get healed, not work in to be prosperous, not work in, but it says work out your own salvation. Work out what's already on the inside of you. And that's what we're going to take a lot of time looking at. What do we do to work it out of us, out of our spirit? You see, in verse 13, it says, for it is God which works in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. It's his pleasure to give you the kingdom. It's his pleasure for you to walk in health. Work out. God works the salvation. That is to say, when we get born again, the Lord deposits everything he accomplished through his death and resurrection in us, in our spirit. God deposits it. We have to work it out. And we're going to be seeing how are we going to work it out. Thank you for joining us today. Music.